After several rounds of discussion, Project Cheetah is set to take off, male Israeli herons, used by all three Indian services. This will be upgraded as part of the project to perform specialized and longer surveillance missions, as well as precision strikes. The projects will cost close to 5,000 crore rupees. This upgrade will include equipping the herons with satellite navigation and specialized senses. The herons will have the capability to carry and launch air-to-ground precision missiles. The development comes at a time when the Indian Defense Forces also decided to jointly procure 30 high-altitude long-endurance armed drones MQ-9B from the US. According to sources, the capabilities and applications of both systems are different, hence there is no overlap. Other priorities, according to sources, include the 83 LCA MK1 deal, which was signed earlier this year, and other specific missile systems. About Project Cheetah, the drones can do the same job without risking soldiers' lives. Because it will eventually have its own senses and armament, it shortens the time between spotting a target and launching a strike from elsewhere. The IAF can deploy its armed drones to unleash a silent punishment to terrorists from 30,000 feet over the ground. The precision-guided missiles would also help in specific elimination of desired targets, and there would be none or minimum collateral damage in such operations. These combat drones will be able to carry out surgical strikes. At the moment, the IAF flies the Israeli-made Searcher 2 and Heron UAVs for reconnaissance and snooping purposes. So far, India has not used air power in anti-terrorist operations in Jammu and Kashmir or the Northeast to take out insurgents in order not to be perceived as being too tough within its own borders. India used helicopter gunships to eliminate insurgents who had infiltrated the Pathankot airbase, but this was within a military station, not in a civilian neighborhood. Unlike India, Pakistan employs American AH-1 Cobra gunships against suspected civilians in its own country, as seen in Operation Zabazb in Taliban and Balochistan areas. This upgrades would also allow Indian Air Force ground station operators to control these aircraft from long distances using a satellite communication system.